our last video, we introduced you to DMAIC. DMAIC helps team members complete lean projects, and it can help you with other projects too. So, let's dive a little deeper into how DMAIC works. Today, we're going to cover the define phase. The primary objective of the define phase is to select a process that needs improvement. The two tools used are the project charter and a SIPOC, which is supplier, input, process, output, and customer diagram. Let's cover the charter first. The charter provides clarity by ensuring the project lead understands the sponsor's requirements, provides key information needed to get started, provides a reference document to make sure everyone is on the same page for the project at the beginning and later in the project, and importantly, it defines success for the project. The framework for the project charter is an acronym, S-M-A-R-T, or SMART. Each letter represents a section within the charter. The S stands for specific. Now in this section, you outline the problem and you give some of the background. Some things you might ask yourself, what is the specific problem or defect? Who owns the process? What will be the result of this project? What is the goal? The next letter in the SMART project charter is M, and it stands for measurable. In this area, you define how the problem is currently being measured. Any metrics that are being used along with the associated systems or documents used to track the metrics are identified. Some good questions to ask are, are there any metrics currently in place to measure how well the process is doing? How is the data being collected? Who on the team will be responsible for getting the data? The A stands for achievable. Here is where you start to think about what resources will make the improvements, what support is needed, and what barriers need to be removed. You might ask yourself, who has authority to approve this project and provide resources for implementation? What other people need to be part of the team for a solution to be successful? The next section of a project charter is R, for relevant. In this phase, the team must determine how the project is relevant to the business. Some good questions to ask are, do the project outcomes influence focus CTAs or departmental goals? What is the benefit of doing this project qualitatively? The final section is T for time bound. Here is where the estimated duration of the total project is documented as well as the team members and resources required to successfully complete the improvement. This is very much like the project schedule. Some questions you should be able to answer might be, what are the estimated start and finish dates? When will the financials start to be delivered and when will they be completed? Can this project be completed within four to six months? The other tool used during the define phase is a SIPOC, or supplier, input, process, output, customer, diagram. A SIPOC is a tool that helps document a high-level process from the suppliers to customers. The benefits to using a SIPOC diagram include documented process boundaries, identification of competing customer requirements, documented suppliers, linking of customer requirements to inputs and outputs, and identification of process metrics and data. With your project charter and SIPOC completed, you've reached the end of the define phase. Together, your charter and SIPOC give the project team, and anyone who reads the documents, a summary of what the project is all about, who is working on the project, and how long it should take to finish. The team will also know why it is important to make the improvement you're striving for and how to measure success. Now that you know about Define in DMAIC, it's time to move on. Next stop, measure. Stay tuned. <laughs>